So we're at the end now, we're at the end of veg, and let's talk about it. Let's talk about what veg was like to do, and probably what I gained from it. I started doing veg as a very random, spontaneous idea. It hit me on the 4th of January, like, actually I really want to try and make a video every day for a month. It's something I've wanted to do for quite a long time, it's something I've always put off, I will do it at some point, I'll do it at some point. The problem is when you go into something like this and have no planning, Things get difficult very quickly, and they kind of did. Now I think I, I think I made it through quite well. I only think I missed three days. Once because Premier Pro screwed me over. Once because I was ill, and yesterday because I don't know. I whoops. But generally speaking, I think I made a video every single day, and each one was interesting and different. There was one or two where I did just want to make a video for the sake of it. I had to make a video that day. I still think that's kind of important, the fact that I still had to put some time aside to make a video for that day, even if, and in one case, I made a video for all of those, the fact that I wasn't making a video that day. But, it's still important. And what I think is really interesting about how this has happened and what it's done, it's made me, A, realise how easy it is just to make a video, how easy it is to talk to a camera and get over and done with. It's something I've been making vlogs for quite a while now, but I've always kind of not like them as much as the other videos I made. I always kind of put them down a bit of like a lower form of content and yes, maybe I still see them as that kind of way, but I also seem as very easy to make and I shouldn't be avoiding making this kind of content if it means I'm not making anything at all. I'm probably better off making something like this, even if it is a, as I say, a lower form of content than making a montage or a an art video, etc. But it's better to have made something and I re realise there is value in doing that than there is to have nothing on my YouTube channel for months at a time. Hopefully going forward there'll be more vlogs, if nothing else. Just to kind of make sure there is never a that sort of radio silence for like months on end. Another quite nice thing that's come out of doing this is I kind of thought if I did this it would help, I wanted it to help encourage me to be more creative. I originally envisioned that what would happen was that I would do this and there would be nothing else creative happening in my life for the whole month, but it encouraged me to keep being creative all going on. What actually happened is I've been more creative this month than I think I ever have been, despite the fact that I've been doing this as well. I've put aside almost all downtime activities just to do things like this. I've been doing this, I've been writing a story, I've been planning out a D&D campaign for my friends, I'm writing everything from scratch, every single encounter. I've been doing a lot, I've been doing a lot of creative work in the background and that's been really really exciting and healthy for me and that I think has come across from this even though maybe I didn't put all my attention into this it kind of has a nice little reminder that I can be creative constantly and maybe I could have done more work on this and made these videos a little better than they had were but I still kind of got what I wanted from it like it was creative a lot and I've made a lot of things and I've learned a lot from it that leads me kind of my final point about what made has been really good for me. I got a lot of footage Tons of footage just kind of built up and I learned a lot of things to do with it. I kind of started learning how to do colour grade. I started playing more interesting edits and cuts and like fadeaways. I started editing more to music a little bit more and just, yeah, it was a lot of small experiments that came across from it. I learned how to use this microphone and slightly how to focus myself better. Says he hoping that this video is in focus. It's almost like doing a lot of sketch every day in a sketchbook. By the end of the, that month, if you do one for a month, you'll get your better drawing than the beginning. And even though these sketches never intended to be a masterpiece, you still approve at the end of it. And that's kind of what I feel has kind of come from this. And hopefully now, when I go forward and actually try to put a little bit more effort and a little more forethought into my videos, the sort of creativity, motivation, energy, and things I've learned all come will be apparent, and there will be more, a bit more succinct and good and hopefully I won't be nearly as tired and as stressed as I have been during these months. Just de-stress a little bit. De-stress. And then carry this forward. Carry this motivation, this motor, this energy and everything else. Just carry on with but in a more controlled <laughs> and less chaotic manner. But if you have been watching this veg, if you kind of follow me all the way through from the beginning, for January, but if you ever watched it all the way through, but thank you very much for watching it with me and having kind of gone this journey with me. I'd be really interested to see if you if you have watched all my videos from the veg, which has been your favourite. I'd really like to know because I would love to make more videos like what people want me to make, 
and yeah, I'd love to hear from you what you found best so that I can maybe make more like that. Once again, thank you for watching these videos and here's to more videos in the future, hopefully. Bye-bye.